because God had let Elisha know that the Syrians were going to attack Israel and they were God was letting Elijah know <clears throat> where they were going to try to attack him. So every time, <clears throat> every time they moved in to try to get a position, Israel already knew where it was, and they moved. And he did that twice. So now uh, the king got upset and said, "Well, somebody's in here telling, or well, somebody uh, is a spy in here for Israel." And he said, "No." That prophet Elijah just knows what's going on. God's telling him. So he sends a host of his army after Elijah. Well, when the servant gets up in the morning, the enemy's already there. They have him surrounded in the mountain. Uh, the young man looks up and he says, what are we going to do? We're surrounded by the enemy. What's the first thing? Elisha tells him, fear not. That's the first thing he tells him, fear not. And I think that's the key um, with us in the day and time that we are living in. So much is going on. We have to get to the point where we don't panic and are in constant fear. The Bible said God has not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and love and a sound mind. So uh, the, the key to this is that the things that are happening or the things that we do see, we cannot let them cause us to panic. The Bible tells us we will reap in due season if we don't faint. And faint simply means to give up. So we don't want we don't want to let the fear overtake us. When when Jesus met with his disciples after the resurrection, he told them, "Fear not, don't fear. Everything is all right. God is in control." And that's what we have to get in our minds today. God is in control. Mm -hmm. So he told them. She said, "Don't fear. Why? Because they that are with us." are more than they that are with them. Well, the young man didn't see that. Mm -hmm. All he saw was just a, a, a mount full of horses and chariots and the enemy. But Elisha wasn't worried because he was able to see the spiritual part. He was able to see God's part in this problem. Mm -hmm. And so he, he told him, said, no, don't worry about that. Everything's all right. And then he prayed for the young man. Note the Bible tells us here that uh, he prayed, said, open the young man's eyes in verse number 17. So the, the, the servant was young. And uh, I think this is a problem. Uh, we I, I, I would say part of a problem we have in our church today is that uh, we're dealing with spiritually immature people. Mm -hmm. Uh, Christians that are yet spiritually immature or the Bible calls them carnal. Uh, now carnal in this sense of the matter does not mean worldly, it just means immature. Mm -hmm. If you go to 1 Corinthians uh, chapter number 3, you can get a, you can get a, a, a glimpse of this. Now if you look at at the third chapter, verse number one, he, he gives us an opportunity to understand what he's talking about when he says carnal. Mm -hmm. uh, he said, look, look what he says. And I, brethren, could not speak unto you as unto spirit, mm -hmm. but as unto carnal, even as unto babes in Christ. Mm -hmm. See, there you go, your problem right there. That was a problem with the young man. Immature babes in Christ haven't reached a level of spirituality in the church. See, when you get in the church, the church is not there just for us to be emotional, sing and shout. Mm -hmm. We should grow and have a level of spirituality where we're able to see and discern things. Mm -hmm. 
That's the that's that's the key right there. And so he's saying that these that are in this church in Corinth, they are yet babes in Christ. Mm -hmm. He said, I fed you with milk and not meat. And see that's that that's where we are right now. Uh the the, the group that comes in now, they still want to bring too much of the world with them without becoming spiritual. Mm -hmm. We have to become more spiritual. Why? The Bible tells us God is a spirit. Mm -hmm. They that worship him must worship him in spirit and in truth. So that's that's what's missing in a lot of our churches today and with a lot of Christians. They do not have that level of spirituality. We have to be able to to see things from the perspective of what is spirit. And if we can do that, we can become more successful. Things that the other people don't see, we should be able to see. Mm -hmm. We should be able to know, just like Elisha did. Elisha looked at that thing. Elisha said, what's the problem? They that are with us are more. And he's looking at who's with us. <laughs> he can't see them. He can't see who who's with us. I don't understand what you're talking about. Mm -hmm. We have to be able to understand that God works with us, but he works through spiritual things. Mm -hmm. And this is what we have to learn. Now, I was looking for that scripture there. You can look at 1 Corinthians chapter number 2. Let's look at this. Uh, about what happens to us when we come from the world into the church. Mm -hmm. uh, look at, look at, uh, let's start at verse number 9. It said, but as it is written, I have not seen nor ear heard, neither have entered into the heart of man the things which God hath prepared for them that love him. These are spiritual things. A lot of times we look at just the material. Mm -hmm. uh, I want to get this. I want a new house. I want a new car. But no, God is talking about my sp the spiritual things. Look, but God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. Mm -hmm. For the spirit searcheth all things, yea, the deep things of God. Mm -hmm. For what man knoweth the things of a man, save the spirit of man which is in him. Even so the things of God knoweth no man but by the Spirit of God. Well, when we come into the church, all we bring is the things we knew when we was in the world, mm -hmm. that spirit. But now it's time to make a transition. And we're able to learn these things and become spiritual. Why? By receiving the word and therefore we become more spiritual. Mm -hmm. look, look at verse number 12. Now we have received not the spirit of the world. That's the problem now. Too many people want to be part of the church, but they still want to have that spirit of the world. They want to be, they're too worldly, too carnal, and are not able to grasp spiritual things. These are the things that we need to cling to. We need, and, and in the day and time that we're living in, you're going to have to be spiritual if you're going to make it. Mm -hmm. If you're carnal, you're not going to make it. Look what it says. But the Spirit which is of God, that we may know the things that are freely given to us of God. How are we going to know about God if we don't learn Him through His Spirit? Mm -hmm. How are you going to know it if you don't become spiritual? Mm -hmm. That's the key. That's not Being spiritual is not a bad word. Mm -hmm. That's a good thing for us. That's what the church needs to be. That's how this young man was able to see the power of God because he was being put in a position so he could see. Mm -hmm. And that's the problem we have now. People are in the church, but they can't see. Mm -hmm. They cannot see. Why? Because we're yet carnal. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Watch this. Let's look at this. Verse number 13. Which things also we speak not in the words which man's wisdom teaches, but which the Holy Ghost teaches. Watch this comparing spiritual things with spiritual. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. It's not apple and oranges. It's spiritual to spiritual. If you if you uh, remember your days in uh, school or especially doing math or fraction, when you had uh, different fractions, 
you had to find a common denominator before you could subtract, add, and do anything. Well, that's what he's saying here. You, you're not going. It's not going to work for you if you come in trying to compare worldly with spiritual. Mm -hmm. It has to become spiritual with spiritual. Mm -hmm. Well, how is that? The Holy Ghost has to teach us. Yes. How to make that transition? Mm -hmm. And too many people don't want that. They 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 just want to come in and just get emotional, feel good, and go right back to uh, a carnal lifestyle. That's not going to work. Mm -hmm. That's why you got. That's why the Bible said, "In the day that you're living in, you're having a great falling away." Mm -hmm. Now that don't mean people leaving the church. They're still coming. They're still coming. Mm -hmm. They filling them up, but they falling away from God. Mm -hmm. They falling away from Christ. And that's what you're looking at right now. The, 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 the church world now is in a weakened condition. Mm -hmm. There's no power. The Bible says it is, this, the, the children are coming to birth. You don't even have power to bring them forth. Mm -hmm. this, is, this, is, this is the problem. You have, you have the, like uh, Revelation talked about, we are in a position where we are lukewarm. Mm -hmm. You're not hot or you're not cold. Well, what does God say? He said, I'm going to spew you out of my mouth. That's what he said. He said, I'm not going to receive you. Mm -hmm. And that's a problem you have now. That's the, and, and, and you have you have so many demented people, and then you have so many dysfunctional people, and then you got all these people in the pulpit throwing all kind of false doctrine around at people, and folks are in a state of confusion and delusion. Mm -hmm. But we got to come back to the truth. Yes, Lord. And the key is becoming spiritual. Getting the Holy Ghost on the inside. Mm -hmm. The Bible said you shall receive power mm -hmm. after that the Holy Ghost has come upon you. Mm -hmm. That's the key right there. We're lacking spiritual things. Mm -hmm. Now watch this. Go to verse number 14. But the natural man receiveth not the things of the Spirit of God. Now there it is. If you do not become spiritual, you're not going to receive the things of God. Mm -hmm. The things of God, when you get into the church, help you to become spiritual. Now, you're not going to become spiritual overnight. Mm -hmm. But when you come in, we receive the Word. We accept the Word. And that Word helps to transform us. Mm -hmm. The Bible said, if any man be in Christ, what is he? A new creature. Old things are passed away. Behold, all things have become new. But look what he said. He said, the, 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 the natural man is not going to receive spiritual things. Mm -hmm. You see that? For they are foolishness unto him, neither can he know them because they are spiritually discerned. See, that's what you mentioned. You don't have that discernment. He was not able to discern. And discern simply means looking at what's behind something. See, he was able to see the enemy, but he couldn't see what was behind that and that was that was God's that was God's arm. Mm -hmm. See he couldn't see that. Mm -hmm. That's why he was in a state of panic. Elisha could see that. See that? Look look what it said. But he that is spiritual judges all things, but he himself is judge of no man. For who hath known the mind of the Lord mm -hmm. that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. That's what you that's what we need. The mind of Christ. Yes, he instructs us mm -hmm. and tells us what to do. Well, what, what do you mean? He puts us in a position through his word to be able to see. Mm -hmm. So when the enemy comes, we don't panic because we see the enemy. We see God's plan mm -hmm. behind the enemy. That causes us not to, not to fear. So the young man, he was young, and so Elijah said, Lord, Open his eyes. Yes, Lord. Open his eyes that he may see. Mm -hmm. And if we're going to see today, we're going to have to make some changes. We're going to have to make some sacrifices. Mm -hmm. Bible said, if any man come after me, let him deny himself. Mm -hmm. Take up his cross and follow me. If we're going, if we're going to be able to do that, we, we're going to have to deny ourselves. Mm -hmm. We're going to have to put the flesh under subjection. Yes, Lord. That's a problem. And, and we have... Uh, too many of uh, the church people want want to be spiritual, but they don't want to let go of the flesh. Mm -hmm. That's not going to work. Mm -hmm. We must put that flesh. Bible says you have to kill it out. Yes, Lord. Crucify the flesh. Mm -hmm. Those are things that people don't want to do now. 
They want to enjoy this life. They want to have pleasure. But he said, if any man come after me, if you go, if you're going to be a, a follower of Christ, we must put this body under subjection. Yes, Lord. If we're going to be able to see, if we're going to see the spiritual things, and these are these are the things we have to get in our mind that will cause us to get closer to God. That's what you want. Enoch, the Bible said Enoch was so close to the Lord. He walked with God and the Lord took him. He was and he was not because God took him. That's what we want. In this day and time, we want to get closer to the Lord. Because whether you believe it or not, we're in the end time. God is getting ready to rapture the church out of here. And I want to be in a position if 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 I'm still here, mm -hmm. I want to be raptured. Mm -hmm. Now, if 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 I'm dead, mm -hmm. then we want to get up in the first resurrection. Mm -hmm. That's what you want. But those that are alive and remain, mm -hmm. the Bible says they'll be caught up to meet him in the air. Yes, Lord. Now, uh, let me tell you something. If you're going to be caught up, if you're going to be resurrected, you are going to have to be caught up through the Spirit. Mm -hmm. You're going to need the Spirit of God. Let me tell you something. A song is not going to get you out of the grave. Mm -hmm. Emotion is not going to get you out of the grave. Mm -hmm. We have to. The Bible said that we have that same Spirit yes, in us that was in Christ Jesus. Mm -hmm. See, we have that same Spirit. It, it'll quicken us and it, it'll bring us up if we're in the grave the grave won't be able to hold it yes, Lord. and if you're not dead if you're alive then you'll be caught up the, the word rapture means snatched mm -hmm. means just snatched up mm -hmm. the Bible said in a moment in the twinkling of an eye yes, Lord. so that's what you're looking for we want to be and, you, and since we're talking about putting being in a position to see you know, what the, you know what the Bible said let me show you something the Bible said, every eye shall see him. Isn't that something? But I want you to grab hold of this. Every eye shall see him, but every eye will not know him. Mm -hmm. That's a key right there. Every eye will see him, but every eye will not know him. These are things we need to get ourselves in a position right now. Because we're in the last days. Mm -hmm. We're in the last days. And, and and we were talking uh, Thursday night about John, how close John was to Jesus. But if you if you notice, even after Jesus had been crucified and was resurrected, John saw him again on the Isle of Patmos, mm -hmm. and John was able to see a glorified Christ and this 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 is what I'm talking about being able to see what other folks cannot see mm -hmm. he was able he was able to see me he, he gives a, he gives a, a he gives a description very clear of the glorified Christ let's look at that let's look at that right quick see what the Lord is trying to Say, look at uh, Revelation chapter number one, verse number twelve. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, mm -hmm. and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks, and in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one like unto the Son of Man. See, that's the Son of Man. That's you might say, what do the seven golden candlesticks represent? That represents the seven churches. Mm -hmm. He just finished telling you about the seven churches at Asia Minor, which represents the church age down through the years. And the last church that he talked to was Laodicea. That's the one we're in right now, mm -hmm. the lukewarm church. Mm -hmm. That's where we're at right now. Now, let's, let's look at this. Look at, look at this. And I turned to see the voice that spake with me, and being turned, I saw seven golden candlesticks. And in the midst of the seven candlesticks, one on um, unto the Son of Man, clothed with the garment down to the foot, and gird about the paps with a golden girdle. 
his head and his hairs were white like wool, mm -hmm. as white as snow. His eyes were as flame of fire. Mm -hmm. His feet like unto fine brass, mm -hmm. and as if they burned in a furnace, and his voice as the sound of many waters. Mm -hmm. See, that's a glorified Christ. Well, how did he get the chance to see that? He was in the position. He was on the Isle of Patmos. Well, well, well how did he get in? They tried to kill him. They tried to kill John. They tried to boil him in oil. Mm -hmm. But God didn't let that oil boil. Mm -hmm. And he was able to see. Not only was he able to see, he was able to write about the things that are to come. Mm -hmm. You see that? This is what we're talking about. Being in a position to see these days and times that we're living in, we need to be able to know what's going on behind. Uh, see, what's, what's going on behind this pandemic? Mm -hmm. what's, what's going on behind the president, Trump? What's, what's all behind this? What is this leading up to? See, we need to have an understanding. Mm -hmm. In all our getting, we need to get an understanding. Yes, Lord. So we don't panic, cause you, and here's why you need to know. Because you have all kind of people saying all kind of things, all kind of theories, and a lot of stuff that don't even make no sense. Mm -hmm. But the Bible, the Bible said, Jesus said, I told you these mysteries that you would know, that you would have knowledge mm -hmm. of what was going on. And these are the things we try to talk about. I ask the Lord, Lord, give me something that will help the ones that are listening mm -hmm. to know and help us in the day and time that we're living in. And these are the things we need to know. Mm -hmm. Put us in a position so we can see and then open up our eyes yes, Lord. that we can see what's going on. We pray that something has been said this morning to help you. We thank God for all of you that are listening. Uh, if you will, you want to see this video, it will be on live stream for two more days then it's going to go on to our youtube channel and you'll be able to go there bishop jonathan e locus anything we have on there you'll be able to pick it up all our bible studies and all our sunday services uh you can watch them anytime you want to if you would like to be a blessing to this ministry please feel free to do so uh cash app dollar sign shay s-h-a-e 92977. That's dollar sign Shay S H A E 92977. If the Lord say the same, we pray that you would join us again on Wednesday night at 7 p.m. for our Wednesday night Bible study. And if the Lord say the same, join us again on Sunday. May the Lord bless you, keep you. Here's our prayer. Pray for us, and we will certainly pray for you.